Welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Cushman. Today we've got a book that's brand new to our library. It was written last year in 2019 and it is called Sumo Kitty by David Bajeki. Sumo Kitty. There are many wise and beautiful sayings. One of them is, a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. That means big things start small. Another one is even monkeys fall from trees. That means even experts make mistakes. But the one that means the most to me is fall down seven times, get up eight. It means never give up. Sumo kitty. Sumo wrestlers don't like to give up. In Japan, they're known as Rikishi, gentlemen of strength and honor. The champion, Rikishi, is called the Yokozuna. He's the best of the best. When he enters the ring, called the Doyoi, he lifts his leg and stomps his foot. The crowd goes wild. It is said that the Yokozuna can defeat his opponent by just staring deep into his eyes. I am nothing like him. I am a kitty, a hungry stray kitty. I will go anywhere for food. I especially like following Rikishi back to their heya, the place where they practice sleep and eat. Each meal is a feast. Twice a day, sumo wrestlers eat a big stew called Chenko Nabe. It's made with everything I love. Fish, noodles, chicken. Perfect for a stray cat like me. I had it made in the Heya until I was caught by the one they call Okami-san. So you're the one who's been stealing our food, she said. If I ever catch you here again, I'll... Oh. pointed to one rikishi and said, Kuma is afraid of mice. Can you get rid of them? Well, of course I can. I'm a cat. I nodded, yes. Okay, kitty, Okami-san said. You can stay here as long as you keep the mice away. Perfect. Now I had a job at the Heya. Every morning, Kuma and the others practiced and I chased mice. Then the rikishi cooked, we ate, and slept every day, over and over and over, until all the mice were gone. But before long, all that eating started to show. Kuma ate a lot too, but he moved like a big powerful cat. The ground shook when he practiced. Life was good in the Heya. We were one big happy family. Until one day I noticed the mice had made a comeback. They were all over the kitchen and they were laughing at me. How dare they? I chased them around the room seven times, but I grew tired and gave up. Okami-san found me asleep on the floor and just like that, I lost my job. The next evening, when all was quiet, Kuma let me back inside. He told me another wise saying. After the rain, the earth hardens, he said. When life gets tough, kitty, it makes you stronger. Kuma looked up at the picture of Yokozuna. I have fallen seven times to him, he said. He has humbled me the same way the mice have humbled you, kitty. He put me outside with leftover stew and another saying. The cat that does not cry catches the mouse. The next day, I watched Kuma's every move. When he stretched, I stretched. When he did yoga, I did yoga. When he attacked the tepo, I attacked my scratching post. But when he slept, I didn't. I practiced. I went back inside. 
I got my chance one night as the rikishi were stretching. A giant mouse stood in the middle of the doi doi. Before anyone saw him, I leaped in and made my move. Kuma and the others watched as I charged the mouse with a tachiai, followed by a guburiori. I finished him off with a tsukadashi. More mice appeared. They were no match for me. I tossed them out of the doyo and away from the heya for good. And that is how I became known as Sumo Kitty. The next week, I was given the best seat at the Basho, the Sumo tournament. Kuma did well, and he made it to the final match. When the Yokozuna appeared, the crowd cheered wildly. The Yokozuna had a had mice sewn on his mawashi. Yuma was terrified of mice. To him, the Yokozuna must have seemed as scary as the giant mouse in our doyo. But then Kuma looked at me and shook his head. His face changed into the face of a warrior. Kuma charged the Yokozuna the same way I charged the giant mouse. He did a tachiai, a guburiyori, and finally a tsukidashi. Now our Heya has a new Yokozuna picture hanging on the wall. I might have had something to do with that. And Kuma might have had something to do with me staying in the Heya. Fall down seven times. Get up eight. Perfect. I hope you enjoyed this book about Sumo Kitty and I hope it inspires you to keep trying 